on your screen. Vlad, thanks for coming. It was great Thank to you. see you. That website again is bissellshowcase.com.au. Back to you guys. Training is underway in Melbourne as some very special athletes prepare for a big event in October. The Special Olympics Australia National Games will be held in Launceston this year. It's right up Nat Hunter's alley and she joins us now. Nat, what's happening there? <laughs> I love it. It certainly is right up my alley. Chris, show us what you're made of. Let's see you have a big ball here. So I'm joined by Chris and the rest of the Victorian team for 10 pin bowling for the Special Olympics. Off you go, Chris. Let's see. Here we go. Line We're up. hoping for a strike. No pressure. Oh. Camera, ro oh. Camera rolling. Oh. That's, that's good. Oh. Done it. Whoa. Oh. Good job. High five, Chris. Well done. Now, congratulations, Chris, to all of you guys for making the 10-pin bowling team for the Special Olympics in October. You must be so excited. Of course it is, actually. I'm getting really excited for that one. And you're a super athlete. I've been hearing that you are a superstar in the swimming pool as well. You started off in the pool. You've competed at a state and national level and now in, in the 10-pin bowling alley. What made you make the change? Because I was doing the swimming and I thought it should change, change that to champion bowling and I'm doing great with that one. Yeah. You are doing an, an amazing job. Are the whole team excited to, to head off to Tassie? Oh, yes, I am. And do you think that you've got what it takes to bring home a medal? Of course, I will try to bring a medal. <laughs> All right, now, Chris, we have to talk to your mum because she's also a superstar. Behind every great man is a great woman, so come in, Mel. Mel, you must be so proud of Chris, not only a champion in the pool, but also in the bowling alley. Yes, we are very proud of him. Uh, we just, when we joined Special Olympics, we didn't even dream of all the, um, the achievements that he's has now. Yeah. He's incredible. Now, the Olympics, that can be, a, you know, a, a dream for a lot of people, but it's very, very expensive. And it was looking a little unlikely until a generous donation was made. Yes, um, the NDIS didn't cover us for the... Um, for the trip, that Choice um, Hotels came and donated $2,000, which we would like to thank them for. So so it's, it's for our trip, yes. Well done to Choice Hotels. Best of luck in October. Now I'm going to speak to James, who's one of uh, one of the organisers of the event, helping out in October. James, this is a huge event, isn't it, the Special oh, Olympics? It's absolutely massive. We've got only happens once every four years. Uh, we've got nearly a thousand athletes across Australia going to Launceston for the games. They're all super excited, and so are we. Lonnie's going to be going off. Absolutely, it will be. <laughs> all right, now we've got to get back to the stars of the show here. I've got Robert. Robert is going to give me three tips of how to nail a strike. Um, underarm, back straight, feet in position, arm straight. Love it. All right, Robert, let's do it. Right hand, here we go. Wish me luck. Uh, back straight, arm straight, underarm, feet in position. Off I go. Here we go. Ready, <laughs> set. Oh, oh. Natty. Congratulations, best of luck in October. We will all be cheering you on. Well done. <laughs> Back to you guys. Well done, Natty. And if you'd like to help... Oh, brilliant. <laughs> if you'd like to help athletes like Chris uh, and his teammates get to the Special Olympics National Games, head to nationalgames2022.com.au. We're back with more of the biz right after this. See you soon. Tonight I'm on a half I love this song. Oh, you're good, Sam. Brick, 